Banter can be a force for good, but where is the line when it becomes abuse? Can it go too far, even in a sport as macho as rugby? More from Matt Dawson. As far as specific initiations, a lot of it was being on the bus, singing on the bus, getting involved with all the games that you play on the bus. Um, for the, did it ever overstep the mark? Yeah. Um, for the bar bars, when I talked with them to Zimbabwe, I had my backside spanked by a cactus. <laughs> um, <laughs> and not only that, but my, my best mate, Nick Beal, had to do it. They fought, <laughs> and he didn't want to do it. So he, he sort of you know, tapped. So I was, I'm bent over a chair. I'm bent over a chair with my trousers down by my ankles with a load of barbarians and management, you know, having a good old laugh or the rest of it. And, and they're telling Beal has got a, and this cactus leaf is, is six foot high with a big two foot leaf at the end of it. So it was like a wafting, you know? And, um, so he's, he's not, he's obviously not spanking me with this thing because it would have done me some serious damage. So he's just pathetically tapping my backside and I remember Derwin Jones as Welsh second row just pushed Beal out of the way and grabbed this thing and started whacking my backside and for the next 30 minutes Nick we went back to our room and Nick had to pull the splinters out (laughs) (laughs) doesn't get any better than that how were you personally feeling and getting up dropping your drawers knowing that your arse was on show and your teammate was going to whack a cactus leaf I mean did you feel, or obviously you must have felt uncomfortable, but was there anything of you thinking, this really shouldn't be happening? That, that is exactly what I was feeling. Um, uh, yeah, I, I was embarrassed. Um, I was embarrassed for Nick. Uh, and I just remember thinking, I, I, think, I think what was what was most disappointing was I had grown up um, reading you know, numerous books, watching videos of the Barbarians. Uh, and I dreamt, I actually probably dreamt about playing for the Barbarians more than I did playing for England because of, you know, that whole 70s and uh, um, 70s era. And my dad used to rant on about the Barbars and putting that Barbar shirt on was was absolutely incredible because of the players that had played in that shirt previous to it. So to then be in that position, it sh- shattered my my dreams about the barbarians and that's what really hurts rather than a few splinters it was it was the it was the the the, the idea of of what that what the barbarians represented that was was broken so it's to say your body was and, and your mind was strong enough to go and play rugby and it was for the barbarians and you arrived on saturday and said all right dos you at your age now by the way you're gonna have to drop your drawers and someone's gonna wipe you over the ass with a cactus leaf what would you say now uh well First and foremost, I wouldn't be playing for the Barbars because I said to myself I was never going to do I mean, it really had a massive effect on me. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I would sim- it would simply... But, guys, that's not going to happen, unfortunately. Yeah, and, and I can see in my mind, years gone by, there would be, there would be occasion where the big boys are involved and they're dragging, you know, they're putting you in position and it, it, it could have potentially got to that but I suppose when you're a little bit longer in the tooth it's it, you don't need to protest too much it's that look of you seriously think that's going to happen do you <laughs> no, no, no I don't think so whereas when you're young sir don't, you don't have that you have that start sort of rabbit in the headlights uh well uh, you, do, you do anything don't you well because you yeah. you think that is going that is what is normal um that's that's what you do Interesting example there of something which they all thought the Barbarians was quite funny, really overstepping the mark. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and Dawes said it all there. He just kind of ruined his time with the Barbarians. He dreamt more about playing for the Barbarians than he had done for England. Um, Nothing like that happened in a cricketing dressing room. I just remember in 99, my first tour to South Africa, you know, we had a team get together at the end of that trip. And the, the, the physio at the time, Dean Conway, he was a social chairman. And he had us all in this room, and from nowhere, the lady who helped us out with a bit of the organisation of the tour brought these big boxes in, and he laid out those three chickens in a little hutch in the side of the room. And then he... he, he, he had live, chickens. Live, live chickens. Live chickens in the room, and then he had a, a sheep's head on a table. 
And if you didn't do the, the games properly, your forfeit was to yeah. chase chickens around the room, try and catch one, and then go and kiss the sheep's head. That was the forfeit. Now, that was banter fun. Yeah, yeah. And I look back now, it's nothing like being no. whacked on the back. But you never thought that's going to go too far. Yeah, no, that to was be, just yeah. great banter yeah. and fun. It was just part of the, 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 the being on a tour in yeah. England team and, and having a bit of fun at the end of a tour. It was a social committee fines meeting. There was nothing there at the time. I thought, oh, I've just gone over the mouth. I thought it was absolute fantastic banter. And, and good for team spirit. Good for team However spirit. However loosely that is. We're a little bit worse for wear, to be honest. But okay. yeah. I just thought that at the time it was fun. There was loads of different things, singing and down, all, all kind of silly things that you did. For, but I was nothing like Matt Dawson's just explained in terms of the cactus leaf.